Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome to the very first episode of the FIFA 19 career mode. Yes, the wait is finally over. I know it took some time, but today we are starting our brand new career mode in FIFA 19. And I can't wait, man. So let's get straight to it. And here's what's coming up in today's episode of career mode. The guy we'll be looking into banging the goals this season is Alexander Mitrovic. He's currently Fulham's top scorer in real life with five goals this season. When I showed you guys the transfer targets we had that you suggested for me, what player we should sign first. I asked you guys what signing we should make to start the career mode off. We don't have to win it, it's not really mandatory, but it's always good to start off a win. Now for those of you who may be new to my channel or have missed some of my recent videos, essentially this is going to be our main career mode in FIFA 19 and we're going to be starting off with Fulham, uh, a newly promoted team to the top flight of English football who of course have just sacked their manager in real life as well. The first Premier League team to do that this year, they've sacked Jakanovic and uh, the Fulham fans thought they were getting Claudio Ranieri who helped Leicester win the title back in 2016. No, they got me instead. So we're taking over at Fulham and uh, I'm, I'm really excited for the save as well, my, my main career mode in, in FIFA 19. And again, if you're new to the channel, but haven't watched any of my career mode saves before, please click that subscribe button and become part of the family. So here we are then, the wait is over. We are in to the career mode and ready to begin our journey at Craven Cottage with Fulham. Uh, so to start off with what we'll do is we'll go for our email inbox and uh, meet the board to begin with, where they'll give us our expectations uh, for our first season with Fulham, both off the pitch and on the pitch as well. And let's see what they want for our domestic objective in the league. That's always the most important thing for me, what the board want domestically. And you can see right there, both of the objectives in the objectives overview. Uh, they say we need to finish in mid-table and reach the round of 16 in the FA Cup. Now that's definitely doable. But when you consider how Fulham has started the season off in real life, they are rock bottom of the table right now. One win in 12 games. And it also shipped 31 goals in 12 games as well. So I was expecting just to avoid relegation. We've got to finish mid-table. That's, that's quite a lot to ask for. Our youth development objective is a critical priority, quite interesting. Uh, and that's to sign at least three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. Definitely think we'll be able to do that. My transfer philosophy is quite mixed. I tend to sign experienced players and young players. But with Fulham, I want to really put the emphasis on bringing through some good young talent. And also sign four youth players to the senior team in the same season and they were scouted, played them in 20 matches either as part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. That one might get failed. Brand exposure is to sell out at least 85% of the attendance in half our home games in the league this season. Of course, there's no continental objective uh, due to the fact we're not playing in Europe in our first season, but the financial objective is quite an interesting one. It's to reduce player wages by 44 grand a week. Now, that could be really tricky if we bring in quite a few new signings in the first summer transfer window. That's not going to be an easy objective, that one. Now, when you take a look at the transfer budget we've got for our first season, uh, you can see it's around £62 million. Pounds. With wage budget alteration, we're probably ducking that down a little bit between 50 to £54 million, pounds, I would say. However, quite a bit of that money is going to be getting spent on youth scouts this season. Of course, I got a boost uh, to the budget for playing the game before, but in the first season, we will definitely hire free youth scouts. You guys are my head of youth development in this save, and you guys dictate where we send our scouts out to. Uh, sadly, there's no five-star, five-star right off the bat, but there's a five-star, four-star. And uh, yeah, if, you, if you've never watched a career mode save of mine before, firstly, you've really missed out on some fantastic series. But you guys are my head of youth development. You know that we promote so many players out of our academy and put them in the first season. So youth scouting is really heavily emphasized in my career modes. All right, so let's now go and introduce ourselves to the squad and take a look at this Fulham team for our first season at Craven Cottage, where, as we know, it's a four-star team. But in the Premier League, that's not really that great. This is one of the weakest teams, if not the weakest side, in the Premier League in this our first season. So this side, as we know, is going to require an awful lot of improvement if we are to finish in mid-table like the board are asking for in this, again, our first season at Craven Cottage. Now, as we introduce ourselves to the team, we definitely know we're going to need to make some signings with this Fulham team. And you guys aren't just my head of youth development. You're also my transfer committee as well. This is a really interactive series where I'm going to be asking you guys so many times for help with transfers and tactics and again, youth development as well. And of course, you guys are going to be making the first sign in the series. You've already made it for me and that'll be coming a little bit later on today. But as we run through the side and you can take a look at the team right now, I would probably say that the hottest prospect of this Fulham team, as most people are already aware, is this guy right here, Ryan Sessegnon. 18 years old, but a key member of Fulham's team already at just 18 
18 years old, left wing, left back listed positions. He's listed as an exciting prospect and he certainly is. He was a key member of Fulham's uh, 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 promotion winning season last year. He's got some fantastic talent. He's really quick off the mark and again, a really, really bright prospect in English football. He's our hot young prospect in this Fulham team. The guy we'll be looking into banging the goals this season is Alexander Mitrovic. He's currently Fulham's top scorer in real life with five goals this season. Uh, the Serbian, of course, formerly a Newcastle, was on loan at Craven Cottage. Now he's joined Fulham permanently. I'm, I'm going to be needing this guy to be our consistent goal scorer this year if we are to get enough goals to keep us in the Premier League. Mitrovic needs to be the guy that bangs them in. Now the key player for Fulham is actually going to be their captain, Tom Kearney, uh, the central midfielder. And they've got no plans to take the armband away from the skipper, but with that responsibility, means that he's going to be the guy we need to drag us through this first season and again get us into mid-table. He's got some absolutely fantastic technical stats. Technically he's a wonderful player to watch, really gifted when on the ball and again he's our key player this season, he's our captain. We won't take the armband away from him. Kearney is the guy that needs to stand up and be counted and lead this Fulham team in the first season. Now as for the way Fulham is set up tactically, they're playing a 4-3-3 in real life and I've got no plans to change that. We will stick with that system in our first season at Craven. Even you can see the front three is Sessignon on the left, Schürrle on the right and Mitrovic being the lone striker with a midfield trio of Seri, Kearney and McDonald as well. But the key for me in the first season is improving this back four. When we make signings, you guys are making the first one, but I'm definitely going to be bringing in some new centre-backs to Fulham in this first season at Craven Cottage. Alright, so we're just about to move into our first pre-season game as we'll be taking on Frankfurt in the group opener where we've been joined against two German sides and a French side in Group A. Uh, in my series, we always simulate all the pre-season games in least we reach the final and uh, of course we'll play that one but before we do simulate this game we have a transfer offer and our first one in the series Independiente want to take Cabano for 1.95 million of course Sessignon is our first choice left winger he's definitely not going to take his place and I'm not against letting him go as we plan to sign one or two more wingers in this first transfer window as well so he's under devaluation but I don't really mind too much Cabano can leave I'm okay with that deal Halfway through our first preseason game as well. Sessignon's given us the lead and Seri's made it 2 0. And Sessignon scored again. Yeah, I'm fine selling Cabano, man. Ryan Sessignon's the future of this Fulham team and he's proving that right in the first game. 3 1, perfect start. And unsurprisingly, there's a bid for him after the game as well. Burnley want to take him to Turf Moor for £11.8 million. Sean Dyche, hands off, man. This guy's going absolutely nowhere. Let's move on to our second game. We've got Stad Rene. Uh, I believe if we win this, we will go through with a game to spare. So let's see if the boys can do it. So we can field a weekend side for match day three. And we have indeed Schürrle and uh, also Sessignon again. <laughs> Sessignon again. It's pre-season, Ryan. Save, save this good form for when the season actually starts. Oh, and Cabano's transfer talks are broken down. Damn it. Oh well, Cabana will stay. And uh, there's a loan off for Luca del Torre as well. Uh, Cologne want to take him. He's actually a decent young talent. 20 years old, uh, 64 rated. But uh, in the first season, I don't think he'll get much game time. So fine line him out. Right, so we're now going to play our third and final pre-season game. As you can see by the group, we've already guaranteed a place in the semi-final. So we'll field a weak inside, a chance for fringe players to impress. And after that... We're going to take a look at our current transfer shortlist as the backup brigade still got the job done with Aite scoring a late winner there. And we're going to take a look at our transfer shortlist and uh, assess our current targets for our first season with Fulham. So we're into the semi-finals to take on Stuttgart. We'll play that game in just a moment's time, or should I say simulate the game in just a moment's time. But this is our, our current shortlist right now. Of course, feel free in the comment section down below right now to give me more suggestions to put on the shortlist. I need your transfer suggestions because every single one of these names right here on the shortlist were suggested by you. Every single one of these names you guys recommended to me. So in the comment section down below, give me some more transfer suggestions and I'll put some more on the shortlist. All right, so we're gonna quickly play this game against Stuttgart. Uh, simulate this one and see if we can make it through to the final and then we're going to go after our first sign in the window which of course you guys have already made for me so hopefully we'll make it through to the pre-season final come on Fulham let's get that job done oh yes did it on penalties 4-3 and so we're into the pre-season final uh, so what we'll do to end today's episode off is we'll play that game but before that as we'll be taking on Frankfurt who are also part of our group as well but before we play that game we are going to make our first signing of the transfer window and you guys have already made it for me of course I asked you guys in a video uploaded this week when I showed you guys the transfer targets we had that you suggested for me what player we should sign first I asked you guys what signing we should make to start 
start the career mode off, and you guys chose, and I was I was pretty surprised by it as well, because I thought you guys were going to choose a new defender for us, because as we know, Fulham this season defended pretty terribly, but you guys said the best form of defense is offense. You need to score more goals for this Fulham team. You love your five-star skillers. You love those inside forwards, and David Neres, a young prospect, 21 years old, playing for Ajax right now, well, he's got the full package we want as an inside forward playing on that right-hand side, taking Andre Schurler's place. Five-star skills, three-star weak foot, a left-footed player on the right-hand side. He's very quick and he's very agile. 88 for acceleration and sprint speed, 91 for agility, 84 for balance, and technically as well, he can dribble, he's got good ball control, and again, 76 finishing with 72 shot power. He should be a great inside forward with the flare trait as well. I threw it out to you guys. You said sign David Neres. Thank you to my transfer committee for making that signing. Let's bring him in. David Neres, come to Craven Cottage. I think you guys made a great choice with David Neres as well, because again, I've never used a guy before, but apparently he does so well in FIFA career mode. He grows really, really quickly, and uh, I'd, I'd love to have him in to bang in the goals. Now, I actually rejected our valuation bid there, and they say they want an extra 9 point something million for David Neres, uh, plus a 5 cent sell-on clause. It's... <laughs> My math is terrible. You'll find out during the series. Um, I'm, I'm fine with a sell-on clause because we don't plan to sell him throughout the entire series. I want this guy to be a star at Craven Cottage, but the fee is a little bit inflated. We're going to duck that down to 23.5 mil and see what they say to that. Go on, Ajax. Accept that bid. Accept that bid. Go on. Yep, that's totally fine. 23.5 million pounds plus 5% sell-on clause. Might be quite a lot for a 21-year-old, but I, I, I believe in this guy and you guys do too. So David wants to be a crucial squad member in this Fulham team, which of course he will be starting on that right-hand side. Wants a five-year deal, exactly what we wanted as well. Tie this guy down and don't let him leave. No release clause, also perfect as well. Now as for the money, he wants 33 grand a week and a couple of big bonuses there. Look at that, one and a quarter million if he scores 20 goals. We can forget about that because that's definitely getting removed. However, 33 grand a week, that's, that's not that much. And again, on a five-year deal, for five years, we won't have to pay him any more than that. So 33 grand a week, 340 grand sign-on bonus on a five-year contract. If they accept that, I'm fine with that. And they say no, that just increase the salary a little bit to 39 grand a week. But again, that, that's fine. 39 grand a week, five-year deal, 340 grand sign-on bonus. There we go. David Neres, welcome to Craven Cottage. It was the signing that you guys chose for me, my transfer committee. Thank you very much for making our first signing. You'll be making lots of signings throughout this series, and there is the first one of the series. David Neres, welcome to Fulham. But of course, you guys aren't just my head of youth development and my transfer committee as well. You're also my tactical consultants and also my marketing managers as well. What squad number are we going to give David Neres in his first season at Fulham? You guys can decide in the top right of the video, there'll be a YouTube poll for you guys to vote on. And you can decide what squad number David Neres gets in his debut year at Craven Cottage. It's going to be between number 7, number 12, number 15, number 17... And I quite like 27 on a winger. So those are the five choices for you. 7, 12, 15, 17, and 27 as well. What number are we giving David Neres in the first season at Fulham? You guys vote in the top right, choose in the poll, and decide what number Neres gets. So Neres is in, and he's going to make his debut in the first game of the series as we now take on Frankfurt in the pre-season final. A win in this game, and we get the most amount of tournament prize money possible. We don't have to win it. It's not really mandatory, but it's always good to start off a win and hit the ground running. So first and only game in today's episode, first game of the series, the pre-season final as we take on Frankfurt, aiming for a win, and I'd love to see Neres score on his debut. Let's make it happen. Come on, Fulham. Well, you want width and you want quality in the width and probably they've got that with this new acquisition. Well, I think so, and uh, the one player that would be pleased to see him arrive is the centre forward because I think he can expect better service now from a lad that does swing in good crosses. Sessignon wins it back again. He's had a great start already. And now Kearney through the gap to Mitrovic. Oh yes, fires it home, the goalkeeper gets a touch, but Mitrovic makes it 1-0. We said this guy needs to bang in the goals this season and be consistent if we are to finish in mid-table. What a start, eight minutes in, first shot, first goal. He came from Serbia to terrorise defences. Alexander Mitrovic, 1-0, and if he's that lethal throughout the course of the season, I think we'll be fine in terms of scoring goals. Six minutes to go in the first star, still the lead is one. I've got to say, we've actually defended really well, which is ironic, considering how poor defensively Fulham 
been this season in real life, but we've been really good. Now coming forward, we're looking dangerous on the break. Brian on the ball, slides it into Ryan Sessegnon. I'll try and play it through to Kearney, to Mitrovic. Oh, it's two and it's the same combination. Tom Kearney leading by example, setting on Mitrovic and it's 2-0. What a great first half. No, no, it's been disallowed. Never mind. <laughs> Always made to look like an idiot when that happens. Mitrovic just strays a fraction offside. Lino, eagle-eyed, called it right. Frankfurt looking to get back on level terms just before half-time. Callum Chambers out of position here, but he's dealt with that perfectly. And he's found Kearney, and Tom's found David down the right-hand side. Now this is his first chance to run at red shirts. There's not many people back, though. Neres cuts inside. Oh, it's what we're asking for. David Neres. Wonderful. Oh, David Neres. That's why we've signed him. That's why you said sign him. Neres on his debut right before the break. A glimpse of what's to come in his debut season. What a goal. Kearney down the right. Sliding through to David Neres. And again, here he comes. David Neres. I am really liking the look at this youngster. Neres, oh, he's, he's, he's just teasing him. He's just teasing him. David, just stop it. Just stop it, David Neres. That's just not fair. What a goal. Well, it's safe to say I'm coming to you guys a lot more often during this series. I'm going to be asking you guys for so many transfer suggestions because on the basis of this display from the first signing of the series made by you, I mean, you guys just know, you, you, got, you got an eye for talent. You got an eye for good talent, and I know it. What a brilliant debut. We are going to score an awful lot of fun goals this season. And, and David Neres, I think he's going to score the bulk of them. I tell you, man, you, you guys you guys know a talent when you see one, don't you? What a brilliant start this has been. And, and can we get him his hat-trick now? Can we get him his hat-trick? That's the plan. He's got two. Oh, that's a penalty. That's a penalty, and he's going to take it. Tom, the captain, making way for David Neres, and uh, I'm not sure he's going to run up quite like Pogba does, but um, I'm hoping he can blast this one in to that top corner. Oh, he can't stutter anymore, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I tried to stutter, but there's no stutter or hesitation for David Neres. 4-0. Well, this has been an absolutely textbook display. Could not have gone better how we planned it ourselves. Can we keep the clean sheet as well? Well, if Sergio Rico stops that, we should do. Final score is going to be 3-0 to Fulham. And the perfect way to start the series. Lifting the preseason tournament, starting off with silverware, and a magical display from David Neres on his debut. Getting the match ball, a hat trick. You guys said sign him. And I'll tell you what, I'm so glad that we made that decision. David Neres, what a great start. We're certainly not delusional. This sort of thing will not happen on a regular basis. There is no way we'll have a lot of games like this in our first season. It's going to be a tough, really grueling debut year with Fulham. But the encouraging signs were there for all to see in this game. A really, really fantastic win and a brilliant display by Fulham. So four shots, all of which on target, all of which found the back of net. 57% possession. That was an absolutely brilliant display from the lads from London. And again, for David Neres, any surprise for man the match? David Neres, the perfect 10. What a brilliant debut and what a brilliant start for our Brazilian winger. So I think what we'll do is we'll end the first episode of Career Mode there, guys, on a fantastic high. And I want to say a big thank you for watching the series opener. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, then please do drop a like as likes are, of course. Very much appreciate it and they really help channel out as well much love to you all have a brilliant weekend and i'll see you for the second episode very soon where if you're new to the channel make sure you click the subscribe button as we will be uploading this series on a very regular basis have a great weekend guys much love to you all and i'll see you for the second episode of career mode very soon bye now